Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm DJ Sixsmith. You're watching the Sit Down. Lily King, Caleb Dressel, International Swimming League on CBS Sports. How are you both doing? Uh, pretty good. How are you? <laughs> Great. Caleb, how are you? How's Budapest, man? I'm doing all right. It's been good, actually. I've I've uh, enjoyed the bubble a little bit more than I was expecting. Um, I've actually liked the setup that they have a lot. Um, so I'm doing I'm doing well. I'm getting a little homesick, um, but I can I can survive a couple more days here. But I, I've I've enjoyed it thus far. So we had Rowdy Gaines on. He said this is one of the nicest swimming situations he has ever seen. Can you two concur on that? How does this compare to some of the other pools you've been to? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, this is one of my favorite pools to swim at personally. I mean, it's just a fantastic facility. And like Caleb said, being in the bubble has actually been pretty nice because um, we haven't really had to worry about our you know, general health too much <laughs> for the last month or so. So uh, it's just been a really, really great situation. And we're lucky to be here. Yeah, so, I don't want to don't want to echo too much what Lily said, but yeah, this this pool and facility, it's it's the best in the world. I mean, I've been to, I mean, I've been around the I've been around the block on the uh, regarding swimming a few times, and this this pool just it dominates everything I've been to. It's not just the comp pool. Uh, I mean, the amount of warm down pools that they have, just the bathrooms, like the little things. I mean, the little snack bar that they have, it's the little things that really add up, and they really have everything that we need here. So it helps uh, make the bubble life a little bit easier. And then competition wise, the arena, it's been, it's been great. Not having people in the stands, you don't even realize that they got all the lights. And I mean, the way they set up the boxes and everything, it's been, it's been really, really nice. So Lily, the International Swimming League has been a big success so far. When you just think about how important it is to be swimming, given everything going on in the world with COVID-19, given the fact that the Olympics got delayed, what has this experience meant to you? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's been awesome. I was a little hesitant to come, um, but that, but then I kind of realized like if people were going to be racing and I wasn't going to be there, um, that would have driven me absolutely crazy. <laughs> so um, I'm, I'm just really glad that I'm here and, and getting to train with, with all my friends. Like I haven't, I haven't seen this team. I haven't seen any of these people all year pretty much. So um, it's, it's nice to be around, be around the best and get to train with the best and race with the best. Caleb, what's been the best part of the experience so far? Like, how long was it for you, you know, when COVID first hit that you were out of the pool and then back in the pool? What's this year been like for you? Um, so I had, uh, I bounced around from from pool to pool a little bit within Gainesville and then even Ocala, next next city up. Um, but Troy, my coach, he, he found me pool time. It may, may not have been as consistent as uh, my normal schedule, but I, I had water time um, good enough, a lot more fortunate than some people, but uh, yeah, I've been I've been very fortunate with this uh, whole ISL thing actually working out because with what Lily said, I, I wasn't sure if I really wanted to be gone for six weeks with um, how rocky this this year has gone so far with just the inconsistencies with COVID hitting and whatnot. So uh, once I decided to go, I was I was all in. And then now that I'm here, I couldn't imagine missing out on this. I mean, it's been so great. The, the, just the instant feedback from meet to meet. Um, the notes I've taken, um, my swim journal, life journal, everything, just the amount I've learned. I mean, shoot, yeah, I've, I've even asked Lily questions because I got thrown in the breaststroke skins here. So I've had to take advice wherever I can, I can uh, get it from. But just to have this many elite swimmers in one location, no matter where you look, you're going to be able to improve your swim career if you just keep your eyes open and keep your mind open. So I've been very grateful for the bubble situation. I'm glad, I'm glad I went. Um, there was only like a 5% chance that I didn't show up, but I, I'm really glad that I'm here. I think that's really well said right there. And Lily, when you hear Caleb say like he's learning from you, he's getting advice from you, you have the opportunity to talk to him. What has that meant to you these last six weeks? Yeah, it's been cool. Um, I think we both take notes from each other because he, Caleb is very detail oriented and looks at tech, like technical things a lot. And I'm more of um, I would say I'm more of like an observational person when it comes to like how people prepare for races and things like that. So um, I think we've definitely been able to take notes from each other and it's been fun. Like we've never, we've never been on a six week trip before. So um, it's just been nice to kind of see how everybody operates in general and um, you know, taking notes from Caleb and taking notes from Olivia and like all these different people on the team that, that are, you know, so successful in their events, but we just don't see the same thing. So it's been fun. Caleb, how Lily's, long have you been journaling? Lily's really good at being able to just shut up and swim. Sometimes that's what I need to do. <laughs> that's, that's what she's trying to say. She's saying I talk too much. <laughs> Caleb, how long have you been doing the journaling for? Uh, I mean, since high school. 
Uh, I mean, I've been, I've been taking practice logs since high school and then I don't like to call it a diary, but essentially it's what it is. So I have two, they're actually right here. So I have, there's it's my a journal. Swim. It's a journal. <laughs> it is. It's not a diary. It's a journal. So I have my swim log and then this is what I write in every day before bed or if I need it throughout the day, but I don't know. It helps to just take the practice, put it in a book, close the page. And then same thing with my day, write down what I did that day. Any, any thing I wasn't too fond of anything I could have done better, put it in the journal, close the pages, go to bed and be done with the day and have a better one tomorrow. I like that mentality. Lily, when you think about the Olympics next summer, USA swimming has been at the forefront of the swimming world for decades at this point. What does it mean to you to represent this country? And what's most important as you get ready for the 2021 Olympics? Yeah, uh, I mean, it's it's an honor to represent the U.S. always. Um, there, You know, I remember when I was a little kid and we would go to swim meets and they play the national anthem before the meet would start. And I'd sit there and I would actually like visualize like the national anthem playing at the Olympics. Like that's what I would always think about. So um, that's, I think that's definitely what I'm looking forward to <laughs> um, is, is uh, you know, fast swimming. It's, it's the Olympics. What is there not to look forward to? Um, just like, just a great experience. And it's, it's something you never forget. So um, yeah, that, obviously very, very excited. Caleb, when you think about 2021, you know, a lot of the talk for the men's side is life without Michael Phelps. He's, you know, he's been in our lives for two decades. So what are you thinking about here? And just, you know, the responsibility of carrying the torch after he did so much for the country when it came to swimming. Oh, goodness. I, I don't think that falls all on my shoulders. I mean, we have a very dominant swim side. I mean, take me out of the picture completely. And we still have an extremely dominant men's side. So I want to do, do my part best I can, fill some shoes where, where I can. Um, but really, I don't, it's not about comparing myself to other people. I just want to accomplish what I feel like I'm capable of doing, um, fulfilling what my potential is. That's really between what me and Troy. Um, so yeah, Michael can't swim forever. Unfortunately, he did his part of the sport. Of course, he is the front runner. He's the go to the sport. I understand that. But um, there's some things that personally I want to accomplish. Um, so I want to do my part to represent us best I can, fill some shoes where I can. Um, but I think the weight falls on um, all our shoulders. It's not just me. It's not just me. I don't represent... Uh, not one person represents this country. It's the strength of the team as a whole. I think that's what makes the U.S. special and so dominant. What are some personal things you're looking to accomplish, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, I can't share that with you. <laughs> that's for the I journal. Can't. We'll keep that uh, under lock and key for now. Exactly. That's between that's between me and Troy. Uh, I typically Fair don't enough. share with anyone. But this is actually the first year I've shared goal times with Troy. So it's it's nice to have someone someone holding me accountable to that. Um, but yeah, I can't tell you, man. I'm sorry. Hey, you know what? Gotta ask the question. It's all good. <laughs> One of the things that I think is important to talk about is mental health, especially for both of you as athletes. And even just you talking about journaling, Caleb, is important. So Lily, when you think about the conversations about mental health, being an elite athlete, you know, how important is it for you to just be transparent about your life, you know, keep some stuff private, but also let people know like, hey, we're human beings as well. Yeah, um, I think it's super important because I, I feel like it's becoming more normalized to kind of share your mental health journey and, and um, just how you've processed things. And I know I definitely, I don't want to say I went through like a full blown post Olympic depression, but I definitely um, had a major downfall in my motivation after the Olympics. And um, I feel like that was something people didn't share very often. Um, and now that it's kind of becoming more prevalent and more accepted, I think it's, I think it's just good. Like I, you know, I didn't think at 19 years old, I was going to come out of the best meet of my life and then not want to swim anymore. Mm. So, um, I, I, I just think it's good that it's, it's become so much more, you know, uh, kind of in the forefront of, of kind of athletes. Uh, I can't even think of the word their platforms. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. How, how long did that period last for you, Lily, before you were just like, you know what, I, I feel okay again. I feel like I'm, I'm ready to get back into the whole swimming. Thing. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't think that first Olympics is ever a feeling you can ever replicate. So, um, just, just going through that being my first national team, meet ever going to the Olympics and then, you know, winning two gold medals and then coming out and going right back to college. It was definitely, it was a long time before I felt totally normal, but I've never, I don't think I will ever feel that same, that same giddiness I felt at the, at my first Olympics. Caleb, how about for you? When you think about your journey, what are some of the challenges that you've overcome along the way and what are you most proud of so far? Yeah, I mean, certainly I think every, every sport, every profession, I mean, every person on this planet goes through mountains and valleys. Um, I'm very grateful for the valleys I've been through. I think you learn a lot about yourself and what you're capable of doing whether that be a little valley during the day in practice, you might be having a bad practice, or maybe you're just in a rut for a month, a year, a couple years. Uh, I think you learn a lot about yourself. So 
I'm grateful for that, what the sport offers. Um, not just not just being on the podium, not just winning medals, not just doing it with the team. Um, I, I've learned a lot about myself through this sport, and I'll always be grateful for that. It does come with a lot of baggage, but I've never lost respect for the water. Um, I've always felt at home in the water. That's my safe place. Anytime I dive in, it's just me in the pool, uh, me just perfecting that relationship with the water. So this sport has offered me so much. Um, it's taken me some rough places. Yeah. But like I said, I, I've learned a lot about myself there. I'm proud of the man that the sport has shaped me into, um, and just learned along the, along the way, but the sport, if you open your, open your eyes, open your mind, you can learn a lot. It'll take you to some really, really cool places. Well, it's been a pleasure being able to talk to both of you. I'm glad we could all hang out here. Thank you so much for joining us and best of luck with everything going forward. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for having us.